Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's coverage here in Seattle, Washington for the Avis Marketplace Seller Conference, part of the APN Partner Network merging with the Marketplace to form the Amazon Partner Organization. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE, uh, wall to wall coverage today. Christian Gorkash, who is the VP of Alliances at Kong Inc. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Thank you John, right? really glad Gorkash? to be here. Gorkash? Exactly, right. yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So Kong, we've been following you guys for a while, so Docker Kong, you've been part of our Cube conversation, also part of our, our startup showcase. Fast growing startup, mm -hmm. you know, working on stuff that everyone loves, APIs. I mean, APIs are so popular now that they're now a security concern, right? So yeah. like, <laughs> guess, guess what, they're everywhere. I won't say API sprawl, but APIs are the connections and that are, is the web, that is the cloud. Okay, now with cloud native developers who are now on the front lines, have taken over IT. Everyone knows DevOps, DevSecOps, mm -hmm. is now the new IT, and it's the developers. Security and data, <laughs> they're below, they're the new ops. <laughs> so, so this is where the microservices come in, open source, uh, service meshes. New automation is coming down the pike that's super valuable to businesses as they look at cloud native architecture. What are you guys doing in there? Take a minute to explain Kong's value proposition, the hot products, and then why you're here. Yeah, um, <clears throat> so you know, I joined Kong now over three years ago. You know, we were still just reaching our 100 employees mark, which is a very important, very startup. But even back then, you know, Kong was relatively well known in the industry. You know, so we have uh, one of the most, well, the most popular open source project in uh, API Gateway area, so Kong API Gateway. You know, we cross now 300 million downloads. Uh, even more important is just the scale at which the product's being used. So between our open source community and our enterprise customers, we are now uh, crossing like 11 trillion transactions per month. I'll just give you a comparison, like this is like 18, 19 times more than Netflix per month. You know, so for any company that has a technology that operates at its scale, you need to hit a few things out of the park. You know, <laughs> as you mentioned, cloud native developers, they want simplicity. You know, they want automation. They also want performance and scale and security, which are all critical, you know, to how Kong you know, started as an open source project. Now, of course, we have the whole suite of enterprise products. We also have our Kong, uh, service mesh offering, as well as our cloud offerings. Yeah, and this is how open source is doing it now. Obviously, you know, I, I still remember, I still tell the story to the young startups. Hey, I, I, there was proprietary software when I was mm. in college. Um, open source is now everything. Now you've got cloud scale, so the dynamic between open source, which has become the software industry, I mean, mm -hmm. open source success doesn't mean it's, it's game over. It's the beginning. The commercialization that you guys have gone through is super important. Trillions of transactions, now you have enterprises working with you. What's the big advantage of the seller relationship that you have with Amazon? Why are customers using it? What are they buying it for? Give the pitch of Kong for the marketplace customer. Yeah, it's actually, uh, we are relatively new in AWS Marketplace. You know, so our first transaction that we ever done was actually in July in 2021. So we're just over a year you know, on that journey. Um, you know, when I look at what uh, Chris Gruss talked today, he was talking about, you know, hey, just publishing a marketplace is not enough. You, know, you need to understand what's your value proposition. You need to make sure your operations are ready, your sales yeah. is ready, everything is, is set. And we kind of did this for the first year and a half. We spent a lot of time improving our integration with AWS overall, all the first party services relevant to Kong. We also understood, well, what does it take to kind of fine tune our value proposition? We have like three specific sales plays. And you know, when we launched our flagship product with Kong Connect Enterprise and got our first transaction, that was a great milestone for, for a startup like Kong. But then what we've seen is just that work that we've done before really paid off. I mean, right like now. Like what, we'll give an example. Yeah, so um, you know, we are focusing on, as mentioned, three sales plays. One is we are focusing specific on helping customers who are modernizing and, and their application going to the cloud. And you have a lot of these, you know, lift and shift and re-architects and modernize, but most of the uh, attention is on the workloads. What about the connections? Mm -hmm. You know, so a monolith application had to authenticate all the users, understand where's the network and so on. When you build those, when you now decouple this, you build like 10, 100, 1,000 microservices, you don't want to repeat this for every microservice. So that's where Kong 
brings the whole suite from you know, service mesh to the API gateway to help manage the journey and really support these environments. And we spend a lot of time to just fine tune that message so that customers understood where, you know, how can we help them on that journey beyond what, for instance, uh, cloud native or AWS API gateway offers them. So we can really help them from day one on the journey and accelerate yeah, and, and I think, the I think it's, a no, it's a no brainer for a customer or a buyer to come into the marketplace and say, click, I'm going to buy some data analytics services, I'm going to buy a gateway through Kong. Mm. But when they start getting into these microservices, this automation opportunity, there's more behind the curtain for them with Kong. So I have to ask you, with the keynote we heard from Chris, the leader of the marketplace now, he said that he wants the ISVs to be more native in the cloud. That probably resonates with you. Uh, well, guys. with Kong it's relatively simple because <laughs> <laughs> we were built with cloud native, you know, so uh, very briefly, the, the whole story of Kong was, uh, this was before John, our founders were actually running the, the very popular API exchange called uh, MeshShape. And they had to build their own gateway just to handle the scale and it was built on cloud native technologies. And then when everybody's calling, you know, what are you using to running this? Are you using IPG or using something else? No, we built ourselves. Oh, how can we get our hands on it? That's okay. how Kong actually yeah. came to it. And that's how the big winners usually happen too. Yeah. They start to build their own, solve their own problem because it's a big scale problem. Exactly. No one's had that yeah. problem. Yeah, and what we have seen, especially you know, what was very, you know, through, through the pandemic, what we have seen, and it's interesting, you know, being in a startup and doing pandemics, like, well, will the light just shut down or what yeah. we're doing, you know? But actually what we have seen, customers prioritize the new business capability. Like for instance, you have a large uh, car rental companies that overnight they had to understand where the assets are. Yeah. Or banks who are like 45 days of uh, you know, approving process for the loans, they need to reduce it for a day or two. Yeah, and they're adding more developers too to exactly. build the modern applications, so they need yeah. to have that infrastructure as code aspect. Correct, and they in need place. To, yeah, and need to, like you have, you know, I don't think that many customers still have waterfall cycles, but they have, <laughs> have uh, pre pretty long developers, yeah. uh, development cycles, and now you need to you know, do this multiple times a it's day. It's interesting, we, we talked to a lot of cloud architects and CIO, mm. CISOs, and you know, the executives, just hire more developers, take that hill, yeah. build it, just don't, build a new app. It's not that easy, boss. So when, when the cloud architect says, we have to be fully operationally ready, with cloud native and infrastructure as code. So with that, you're seeing a lot more enterprises come in now that are more savvy, yep. they're getting better. We're seeing Kubernetes more and more. You're seeing containerization. You're seeing that cloud native enterprise acceptance. What does that mean for you guys in the marketplace as you look at the value proposition? How are you guys working with the marketplace today and where do you see customers buying in the future? Yeah, so we, um, as mentioned, you know, we, we are now a year into that journey, we already seen tremendous benefits just in terms of reducing the friction. You know, the whole procurement, you know, you come as a startup mm -hmm. with some, some of the largest yes. companies in the world, they used to buy five, 10 billion in software and they have all these processes and you're like, well, but we only have like two people in finance, sorry, how can you do that? <laughs> And where Marketplace can really, really helps us is you know, improve this experience for both sides. Because yeah. they understand, like we are a fast moving company, they, they want us because of our speed and, and yeah. uh, innovation. That Your we're product's bringing. strong. Yeah, they don't want us to get bogged down in all these pro procurement processes either. And so, so that's the first benefit. We also are working very hard to make sure that the customers can provision Kong in AWS and automate across the board. So essentially reducing their time to value yeah, dramatically. Exactly. Yeah. And another thing that we found tremendously beneficial for us as a startup is the whole concept of a standard marketplace contract. Yeah. So instead of us coming with our little MSA or come like 50 page MSA from <laughs> companies, we now have a middle ground. So we can just agree, uh, uh, you know, there's some differences or some specifics to Kong software and it's tremendously reduced costs on both sides. Great for you guys, great for the buyers. Yeah. You get deployed services. They're not just buying, they're de managing and deploying. Yeah, exactly. Great. Quick final question, put a plug in for the company. What are you working on now? What's the big news? Well, what's the Kong update? Well, uh, that's an interesting part because <laughs> uh, I can't tell you, because next week we have our Kong Summit All right, in San on. Francisco. The Cube's not so there. So 28th, 29th, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll I, I think we're going to fix that in the future. But anyway, this is our first time uh, after pandemic yeah. to do this in person. We have a yeah. number of very exciting announcements on our Kong yeah. products. 
as well as you may hear some news about our AWS partnership. We like Kong, we believe that DevOps has happened, DevSecOps, whatever you want to call it. DevOps is now the developers, they're in the front lines, they're in the CI, CD pipeline, they're shifting left. That's the new, they took over IT. That's yep. what DevOps does, it's not a title. Now you have security and data ops behind the scenes. That's going to be middleware that's going to have mm -hmm. tons of microservices. <laughs> so more, yeah, more, more action coming, <laughs> all uh, API based. Exactly, <laughs> and the more, you know, the more complexity we can take away from that, uh, the better we, you know, the whole community Martin, thank be. you for spending the time to come on theCUBE here at the AWS Marketplace Seller Conference. Uh, what do you think about the APN merging with the Marketplace to form the APO, the Amazon Partner Organization? Thumbs up, thumbs down, what's your oh, It's verdict? excellent, we have a great <laughs> friend in APN, a great friend in AWS Marketplace, now both of them work together, which yeah, think make it it's easier. fantastic, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, okay, CUBE coverage here in Seattle, I'm John Furrier, APN, Marketplace Together, APO's the new organization, making it easier, of course we got all the coverage here. Thanks for watching.